Prosecutors in New York and San Francisco are investigating the Monster Beverage Company. The question, is Monster marketing its caffeinated drinks to kids? Monster and other popular energy drinks, they're facing growing scrutiny for potential health risks, especially to your kids. Our own Dr. David Agus is the author of the best-selling book, A Short Guide to a Long Life. It's published by Simon & Schuster, which, by the way, is a division of CBS. Hey, Dr. David Agus, joining us in Los Angeles this morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Gail. I would imagine energy drinks are not on your list to live a long life. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what, 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 is, what is the lawsuit accusing the energy drinks? What's the problem, the way, according to the lawsuit? Well, the data speak for themselves, is that for the past couple of years, thousands of children are being admitted to emergency rooms with cardiac problems and other issues related to drinking energy drinks. And it's going up at an alarming pace. And so the lawsuit is saying that these company is marketing to kids and that's what we'll find out, whether they truly are. Well, in a statement to CBS this morning, Monster, the company, says, quote, our products are safe and they are not highly caffeinated and they are not marketed to children. How are they highly caffeinated, though, these cans? Well, you know, it's a disingenuous statement. Um, the cans have caffeine in them, ginseng and guarana, all of which have the same caffeine-like properties, and they're big stimulants. They affect the heart and the brain. And so when you only talk about caffeine, that's not necessarily true. At the same time, they're mixed with lots of sugar, so you gulp it all at once. When you drink a cup of coffee, you drink it over 30, 40 minutes. These cans, you gulp. So all those caffeine-like properties, it's a perfect storm, and you get electrical conductive changes in the heart, and that's why kids are ending up in the emergency room. But does it provide, does it provide the same damage and the same threat to adults? Oh, no question about it. It's just adults aren't drinking it as much, these drinks. You know, kids do it to get through finals, on weekends to stay up late at night. Adults aren't that much. I mean, I don't know marketing well, but I look at those cans in the marketing, it doesn't seem like it's targeting me. Mm -hmm. Does it need to be regulated? No question about it. I mean, we regulate Indorol, we regulate, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Ritalin, we regulate Adderall. We should be regulating these cans. And we should be quantifying how much stimulant is in them. All right, Dr. David Agus, good to see you. Thank you for joining us.